Hi, I recently uploaded my 500th video and didn't even notice. <laughs> One of you actually said, hey, you just uploaded 500 videos, you're gonna do anything. Celebration, accolades. And I really thought about it and I kind of was like, eh, I don't know, maybe? Because I don't ever want this channel to be about me, which sounds strange. I kind of want it to be about us. So this is kind of a little bit of a state of the channel and how things have changed over time with all, we're gonna go through all 500 videos. Video number one. Hey guys, my name is Omar and I just got the Fujifilm X-T20, which came out last week. <laughs> no, just kidding. Now, when I think about 500 videos, the thing I think about most is how much work that all was. <laughs> because making a YouTube video is, it's the planning, the setting up cameras, but it's all the little things that people don't notice, checking your audio levels, picking music sometimes takes an hour because you stress over the mood and... Uh, what lights to use, what color... I was like, what color should that be back there to match? <laughs> so um, multiply that by 500 and sometimes you don't record. And I think that's why I needed to make this video because I have videos that are sitting on my hard drive that I've never made for you. And so I'm gonna kinda go over a channel update, a little bit of a thank you, and a little, a little sprinkle of I'm sorry. Now let's start with the first thank you. Since this video is not about gear or a lens or any kind of controversy, it's probably for those of you that really watch my channel. So the first one is I wanna say thank you to those of you that really like have stuck around and kind of like what I do. Um, I never want to make it about me. I kind of want to make it about us and learning and photography, but I just want to let you know that I appreciate those of you that write comments, like supportive comments. It's 100% fuel that keeps me going. You have no idea. And, and I have no time to respond to all of you. So there's my little, I'm sorry. But I just wanna let you know that I do read your comments and I appreciate all of you, even if you say gr that was great or anything on there. I especially love new subscribers that say, I, I just found you. To me, that's incredible that they could just see me for the first time after, where you been? It's been 500 videos. Now stated, you know, as I was watching back some of the 500, I rewatched all of them before making this video. <laughs> as I watched all 500 videos in a row, it's amazing to see how things change. So a little history lesson, state of the channel now. It's so, you know, because people find me at different eras and when they write a question to me or they ask me something, I don't know which Omar they're talking to, which is funny. So 2017 Omar, I started this channel because I bought the Fujifilm X-T20 and I wanted to teach, I didn't know how to use the camera. I was coming from a Canon DSLR and I didn't know how to use the camera. And I decided to make videos so I could, as I learn, help others, you know, use the Fujifilm X-T20. And so my channel grew because of that camera. I still have that camera, even though it's been converted to the noir camera. If you haven't seen that video, that's one of my 500s. The 2017 Omar with braces and Gosh, cringy to watch some of those videos because the production, the production value is pretty low, but I was having so much fun making videos for you. And I think the biggest thing from beginning, from the start, Omar, was I felt you guys more. The, the original people, when you have like 100 subscribers and 500 subscribers, it's amazing because you recognize the names and you're writing back to people. <laughs> you, I answered every comment. And so the begin, and there's no stress in the beginning because you don't know what the channel channel is going to become. You're just doing it for for fun. And then when you hit 10,000 subscribers, which is such a cool milestone, um, then you start to think about, all right, where do I want this channel to go? And I know I did Fujifilm for the majority of my beginning videos. I focused on tutorials, but I also tried to throw some fun in there. And then I reached a point, maybe 2018, 2019. Omar, where I didn't want to just be typecasted as a Fujifilm photographer. I wanted to show off some of my like flash work, my pro work, 
And, uh, you know, I wanted to dive a little bit more into doing photography as opposed to gear. But then I feel like 2018, 2019, 2020, like everyone started to become aware of what, you know, YouTube was pushing as far as the algorithm goes. And we all knew that the best performing videos are the ones that talk about cameras and gear. And that's why that's all you see, you know, and that's why we have to, to survive, <laughs> make those videos. But personally, I'm super bored with YouTube photography channels. I feel like it's just an endless, endless, same old, same old. And I won't hit record unless I feel like I'm making a fun and useful video. Even if it's about, about a camera or gear, I want to put my spin on it. Like recently, Nikon contacted me and, and sent me a, a Z8, which was, was great. That rhymes. <laughs> And if you search the Z8, there are a lot of videos that are the usual, like here are all the specs, here are some close-ups of the camera, like everyone's kind of doing the same thing. And what I'm starting to do now is I'm trying to think about what everyone does and I'm trying to do something a little bit different. So with any gear reviews, I definitely am the type of YouTuber that will talk to you guys about how it is to use the stuff. Um, there's enough people who list that you, you you guys that are watching gear reviews, you know the specs already. <laughs> they're out like in the rumor sites, they're out the day of. So when my video comes out, if I do any specs, it's usually really fast. It's about how, to, how, how the camera felt. Um, and I think there is a niche for, for, for YouTubers like that, like me, that tell you what it's like to use the camera. The other thing is I kind of record off the cuff and I think I've tried scripts and I've tried, I even had like a teleprompter once, but what I realized is as a person and as a creator, I'm slow to sort of self evaluate and self understand what I'm good at. So part of me does try to do what I, what others are doing, like having a script and having the right B roll and all that stuff. And what I realized that I'm best at is actually just talking to you. Even though sometimes I have to stop and cut because ugh, mumble mouth, I think that is what I'm definitely about is I want to pretend that you're there, hi, <laughs> and actually talk to you like a friend and talk to you, uh, you know, real, like real language. And I feel that when I watch a YouTube channel, it's so polished, like a photography YouTube channel, is so scripted and so polished. And the thing that annoys me most is the forced positivity. Um, the great YouTuber PewDiePie made a whole video about this, about, I'll link it up below, how nauseating YouTube forced positivity is. I don't think anyone is constantly happy. That, and if that's the case, well, I don't, I don't wanna know you. <laughs> and I will not hit record, state of the channel here, I don't hit record, actually I have hit record when I've tried to be positive and the videos never see the light of day because I am forcing this fake persona. If you ever see me being goofy on the channel, I get comments all the time where like people are like, tone it down, stop being an idiot, don't be a clown. That's right, hot dog. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> well, you don't know the real me because the, my friends and my family know that that is me. And with influences like Jim Carrey and Bugs Bunny and Adam Sandler, yes, um, I'm always going to be goofy and that is who I am. So um, back to the state of channel. Oh, forced positivity. I've got a little notes here, okay? You, the secret of YouTube. There's little notes down here what to stick to. Even though there's, a, there's no script, there's plan. <laughs> <sighs> So I feel like for my 500 videos, I think I never had forced positivity. I have definitely had forced goofiness. I mean, if I'm trying to get, you know, I sketch out an idea of something that I'm doing. Like for example, one of the videos was uh, my least used camera was the X-T2. And I had to do a little acting in that video. So that's obviously forced goofiness, but that's to me is fun YouTube. When I have the camera on and I'm sort of like following a plan that I created. To me, I'm making those for you and for myself, and those are the best videos because it, we both get something out of it. You get entertained a little bit, you get to see some photographs to see what the camera does. Um, but, <laughs> so forced goofiness, totally allowed. Forced positivity, I hate it. 
So I don't record. There are times where I just turn the camera off because I can't do it. Okay, so the next thank you and sorry is thank you so much for those of you that trust my advice when you ask me which camera should you buy. I would say, in addition to sponsorship requests that I get every day, every day I get people that ask me of which camera should they buy or which lens should they buy. Every day for 400 videos? <laughs> so thank you so much for trusting me. That's the thank you. And sorry, the big sorry here is, I'm sorry I haven't responded. I'm sorry I can't tell you which camera to buy because honestly, I say the same thing in my mind every time I read the question. It doesn't matter or it depends. And I don't wanna go typing the, it doesn't matter. So people are like, should I buy the 23? Should I buy a Fujifilm X-T30 or a Ricoh GR3? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Ricoh GR3. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which camera. So what is in the future for this channel? We're going back to the beginning. We're doing all the Fujifilm X-T20 tutorials over again. And just click and it will take a picture. Oh, listen to that. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I will continue to play with gear. I love it personally, so that's why I do it. I don't do it for views, but I love playing with new cameras, trying out new lenses, um, and working with brands. For example, Nikon con contacted me, which I was so honored by. Uh, Fujifilm North America contacted me and said, do you want to try the XS20? I was like, sure. Uh, so I find that a mate Canon, nothing. Nothing. Rico, nothing. Leica, just still waiting. I also like doing tutorials. However, tutorials that are good take a lot of work and they're free. Now, I am struggling with this a little bit because I do like to give back and give tidbits back, but I also understand that there's value in what I give and there's some of you that want more of that. So some of the stuff I'm working on, has, I wrote it down here as failed starts, mentorships, people who really wanna learn, who really wanna grow their business, who really wanna like rock their camera, I could help them, but I have to have some type of mentorship or classes. That's on the agenda. That's on the blackboard to start failed. The other one is memberships, where if you are asking me about which camera to use, and whoa, whoa, my background just died, it's back. Memberships, if you have a question, I would talk to members because you're kind of like VIP, you're supporting the channel. I would answer your question. So that's a failed attempt. That's coming next, memberships. Third, merch. <laughs> I never thought I wanted to make merch, but some people have been asking like, is there a way I could support the channel? I actually made merch and maybe by the time this publishes, I don't know, check the link below. I do have a merch. I'm just gonna launch one thing and see how it does. And then we'll see if merch is the future on this channel. But I actually designed some stuff and never it never saw the light of day. So that was another fail. Photo walking tours. I am near New York City and I get contacted all the time by travelers who want to hook up and maybe do photography together. I have seen other great photographers who charge a day rate for like four hours where you go around, we shoot together, we get pizza together and we get to hang out. And that's something that giving back and also providing a service in our area, I think I would do that. Again, it comes down to time. I don't know if I have time to do that, but that's something that's on the list that I would love to do. Uh, that one's paid. So the other one is free. New York City hangouts or sort of um, meetups. Every time I've had a meetup and have met the people who watch this channel, I love it. I love meeting the people. There's just, right now I'm talking to a lens and I love talking to the actual people. You never know who you're gonna meet and uh, it's fantastic. So more of that, more photo walks. The other thing is uh, because one thing that happens on this channel and I'm sure happens to all the YouTubers is the less you record, the harder it is to record, the harder it is to talk. And so many times I've hit record, I've talked and then I go like this and then I hit stop and then the video ne never sees the light of day. So one of the things I, that would combat that is to actually 
have regular hangouts with members or do live streams, kind of like Pal2Tech does. I'm so envious that Pal2Tech, he totally has like a hangout. He has like, he live streams and, and it, the production value is great and he interacts with the people. So I kind of maybe want to do that. I might have to reach out to Chris to see how, how to do it. <laughs> Um, another failure was I had a mini podcast that was going and I talked to some super interesting people, but I never uh, booked anyone else after the four. I never continued it. So I want to bring that back. All right, 501, this might be 502, 502 videos later. I still love it. Uh, my mind, just know that I am not 2017 Omar. And from just trying it out and sharing what I've learned. I'm not 2018 Omar. Hey guys, Omar here and look who's back. 2019 Omar. Hmm, which one should I pack? 2020 Omar. Hey guys, Omar here with more of us having to stay indoors with what's going on. I'm kind of 2021, 22 Omar. Hi there. <clears throat> hey guys. But 2023, Omar, and thank you, those of you that have stuck around, who are the diehards, love you guys. Um, 2023, Omar, my state of mind is to make better videos. There'll probably be less videos because there are many times I don't feel like recording and I, I don't hit record if I don't feel like recording. Maybe with more time, I'm thinking if I sit down and reinvent what I wanna provide, I might make more videos, but really, I kinda of just wanna be happy. Isn't that what everyone wants? <laughs> and you guys make me happy. So again, thank you for all of the support and for being so awesome to me. And sorry that I can't hug, virtual hug, each and every one of you that really supports the channel, because I'm pretty sure that's the only people that are left here listening to this, and I'm totally okay with that. So thank you. Beep, a little boop on the nose there. <laughs> All right, I'll just end this here because it just got awkward. I touched you. All right, see you guys.